It's time to enter a new arc. I think we're gonna get into the more exciting parts of season one. I think Mao Medium should be showing up pretty soon, right? Let's begin today's reaction. They just showed up on their Pegasus and looked intimidating and just left. Wait, he's back already? A body? They, they just they just brought a body. They just, they just killed someone. Okay, what is it? Hey, that's all. Uh, I, 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 but I thought he got exiled. I thought he was already. I was wondering how did he end up at our place, right? I thought he got exiled. And he just wandered around, but Gaza literally just fucking just finds him somewhere, just kidnaps him and drops him off here. Demon Lord Milim attacks. Oh shit. You exiled! It's your redemption arc, Vesta. Make him proud. That's the thing about this show. Everyone gets crazy redemptions. I hated this guy. Now he's all good now. Same with fucking Gabiru, man. How is he so humble already? Sometimes he walks away and he's... He wipes his, uh, he, he swings his cape in a really cool way and he says, Sarabada. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, Gabiru sneakily joins. Okay. That's a little bit more respectful compared to last time. <laughs> Alright, come over here. If, if this place isn't the place for fucking redemption, dude. Is she joining us? Just... Okay. I think she cares about him, actually. Dude, what is this? Is our fucking village a place of therapy? Why is everyone thrown here for fucking punishment and redemption? Gavid already has a name, though, right? <laughs> Those are the laziest fucking names, dude. Toka, Soka, Saika. <laughs> Boka, Noka. Just fucking something cut every time. If I was Gabiru, I want a different name because it feels weird because Gelmude named him. I want a different name. I don't want Gelmude's fucking name. Did he just name him there accidentally because he said Gabiru? But then you saw the mana. What the fuck? So the same name, but overwritten. Okay, this feels a lot better, actually. And now I think they evolved from, like, Lizardmen to some kind of, like, dragon subspecies, right? <laughs> use them? What do you mean, use them? Oh, I got Kunoichi! Wait, wait, wait. Where the fuck did this Kunoichi show up from? Who are... Who are these? Because we saw the lizard girls. Did they turn into this? But Gabiru remains the same. No, don't they... So, Gabiru's sister and her girlfriends turn into waifus. But Gabiru remains a scaly. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> the girls have to look, you know, good. You, you can't let them look like lizards, you know? You, you gotta make them look like waifus. But fuck Gabiru, right? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> sure, they're Kanoe chief now. That's the sister, yeah? Wait, wait. I, but, like, the guys here turn to... I... 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 But the guys also turn into... Osbando's here. But Gabiru and his fan club... <laughs> well, they... Well, Gabiru got his name rewritten, but his fan club still got... I don't fucking know, man. 
I don't know, whatever, don't worry about it. Yeah, some lizard men. Okay, it's just RNG. All right, just a coincidence that the girls have to look very cute and pretty, but Gabiru stays the same. All right, go farm. Go farm, boys. Oh, he's purple now. <laughs> <laughs> and his wings look more like he got wings, you know. Oh, uh, that's one pot. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's changed, but he also hasn't changed. So Veldora's cave turned into a little lab research. Okay. Is he doing more potion refinement? Okay. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it, though. Because someone's about to show up and just shock everything. Like, I love Milim. You know, she's great. But, like, you can't just put, like, a toddler, like a kid, in a G string, like a thong, and then expect the normies to, like, accept this, you know? It's just, like, I love her character. She's great. She's cute. She's fun. She's strong. But, like, it feels also weird to me, you know, for me to just talk about this character and enjoy her when the first fucking scene we see her is her ass cheeks out there like that, you know? Like... <sighs> Medium don't care. Dude, that cleavage is crazy. <laughs> you know how some people can go cross-side and go like this and look, you know, inwards? This is like the other way. It's, it's like, it's like going out that way, but her titties, you know? That's fucking... <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Oh! He senses her immediately. A true demon lord! Ah, shit! Here we go! The only Dragonoid. Okay, a true demon lord, right? Her ambition? <laughs> what is this fucking hockey system? <laughs> She's so cute though, you know? But in the, it, like when you first have this girl show up like this, who has this terrifying aura and she's a demon lord, you're gonna be kind of scared. So Rimura's gotta be like, what the fuck is going on? Even though she comes with pretty friendly intentions, I think. The medium eye. Okay. Just power detector? Did, did she just make that up? Is a medium eye actually the thing or is she just being chuny right now? Because like detecting other people's like aura or magicules, I feel like that's a regular thing that most people can do. It's a real thing? Okay, she's not being chuny. It'd be hilarious if it was fake and she's just making shit up. Hey, come on, eyes up there, buddy. Bro! She's a destroyer. Cameraman, come on now. Can someone get her some proper fucking pants, dude? Like, all they had to do was just put her, give her some booty shorts or something, you know? Like, all you had to do was just give her some fucking booty shorts or jean shorts. You know, like, alright, you, you want to do the fucking lolly fan service, alright, but like, don't just... <laughs> you just gave her just a dog! Her ass is just hanging out, dude! I don't think she cares about Gelmute at all. Hello. You wanna be friends? Yes. Oh. No, 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 no! Hi, hi! Oh, she didn't even dodge it. She fucking caught it. This is such a dumb thing to do, man. Oh my god, Shion's dead. Just toss the Shion. Okay, here comes Soe. 
you never say this. Whenever you do a technique, you never go lead in with this with the saying like, no one has ever defeated this technique. You're just fucking setting yourself up. No damage. Dude, she's just bathing in it. How strong is she in the Demon Lord, like, tier list? Holy fuck. Nah, you can't handle this. Get out of here. Oh. Damn, dude! She just straight up looks like Gojo Satoru here whenever he's going fucking crazy with the power tripping. Look, it's the eye color, I think, and the demented look in her face. Which one? Black Lightning? We got to become our subordinate. Did that happen? We become friends, though. Her magicule succeeds yours by more than 10 times. And it's not just magicules, right? It's like... Veldor's ma- I actually don't know. Rimuru's magicules versus Veldor's magicules. Some people are saying, no, Rimuru's getting- Like, Rimuru's aura is basically just Veldor's. I'm not really sure. But basically, even right now, she's 10 times greater and more. And that's a thing. She hasn't gotten serious. Like, even right now, when she's just casually fucking around, it's 10 times greater. At least. I would just fucking use, you know, devour. Just, just, just fucking predator. Just swallow. Because that seems to always work. But if she did this on medium, would it work? There has to be some kind of threshold where it's like, okay, you can't just simply swallow this monster, this enemy, because, like, the power difference, you know? In, like, One Piece, for example, the hockey system is such that you can't just... You can overwhelm someone if you've already have that base strength that's stronger, you know? So I feel like there's some kind of, like, limitation, you know? Are you actually stronger? The yes, then you can use that. No, then you can't. We got a Rasengan? What is this? No, he fed her, right? What did we give her, though? It was some gold goop. <laughs> honey? Is it just honey? <laughs> so we win her over with just food. A true demon lord has been defeated by some honey. Oh. But the honey is so good. Because she's just a child. It's too easy. It's, it's way too easy to manipulate her. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. At this point, you have to fucking seal the deal and say, Hey, meet him. You want to be our friend? Like, alliance? You know? Like, be our guardian. Too easy. Just for a jar of honey. She just accepts. This is very cute. Ayo, ay, ayo. Careful now. Give her a fucking spoon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's so great about being one, though? I mean, the title Demon Lord sounds cool, but... Uh, uh, that doesn't sound fun. We just want to be left in peace. Just building stuff? The village? Yeah, what other perks do you get from being a demon lord? That kind of sounds fun. Bossing around people like Gelmi might be fun. Hmm. <gasps> this grown-ass man. Well, technically, Medium is super old too, right? I forget her exact lore, but anyways, we'll just assume that she's a child right now, whatever. This grown-ass man just breaks this toddler's worldview. Just tells her, you're just actually bored, aren't you? What are you doing with your life? And she's starting to realize, wait, wait, is my life meaningless? <laughs> no! <laughs> she's gonna have a fucking existential crisis. <laughs> Come join us in the village. Mm. 
Then you call us Rimuru Sama. Okay. No honorifics. That's kind of huge, huh? I mean, even if it's just like first name basis without honorifics, the fact that we're calling a true demon lord by just their name, that's kind of huge. <gasps> friends? <gasps> I don't think Miriam really has friends, right? Tame a demon lord. To me, this just looks like a teacher just kind of like manipulating a child to behave properly. <laughs> Nice laugh. <laughs> this is the punch that pushes Gabido all the way into the village. I remember this punch. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Thanks to Gabido, we're about to get a great scene. <laughs> oh, you fucking idiot. You fuck out. Oh! <laughs> Let's look at that one frame, dude. I meet him just coming in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she did not hesitate, dude. A little run, by the way. River sticks? Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> You never call her little. <gasps> yes, a true demon lord. <laughs> what do you mean? He deserved it. I guess demon lords greet people by just fucking knocking them out immediately. Oh, this is a great scene. I remember this. The introduction. Oh. Yo, Gopta. <laughs> Gopta front row seat. This is it. Does anybody even understand the gravity of the situation? Live here? Woo! Let's go! Let her join. That's perfect. Everybody loves meeting, dude. Oh, what, what, why? What do you want to be then? What about the best friends? Mabudachi, let's go! No, don't make her cry. No, don't make her cry. This is one of the best parts of Slime, man. The goblins just fucking popping up. Mabudachi! Oh. This might be one of my favorite episodes in season one. Introduction to meeting was so fun. The fuck? We got little slime friends? Coffee milk after bath scene in Japan is like tradition, I think, right? What about her? <laughs> she already did. She kind of fucked up Gabiru, but it's fine. He deserved it. It's like some kind of power balance. That's a great thing, but other demon lords might want to fight and gain control of this territory instead. And then other demon lords will get jealous. Yeah. Just let her do her thing. She'll protect us. If not for the honey. Thank you, bees. We need to ally with Mirim, come on. That's right, we are besties. She really is just like top, top tier, huh? I guess I never really understood how strong she was. Like of all the demon lords, she's one of the most powerful. So you can pretty much as a category, if there's a tier list of like, 
strength. She is in that top tier, shared with some other people that I don't know yet. Damn. Makuro <laughs> laughing as he avoids all responsibilities. Aww. She's so fun, though. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, Jesus! Just some splashy, splashy scenes. And that's the episode. I think, if my memory serves me correctly, the next couple episodes is medium just popping off. But then, medium like goes away, and then something really shitty happens with Clayman, right? And then season two, it's just, it's just like kind of almost like freeing medium and saving medium, which sucks because when she entered, in this episode, I truly thought that this anime is going to, like, the next stage. Everything is just, like, accelerating. The things she does in the next couple episodes, so cool. So fun. But unfortunately, you know, she kind of gets benched, which really sucked in Season 2. But she kind of does come out at the very end. But you know what I mean. I thought I wanted Minim to just kind of stay in her village and for us to do more cool and fun things. But it is what it is. And maybe she gets to pop off more in Season 3. Who knows? But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other posts for more content. And until next time, take care.